Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. I actually turned off my com I accidentally turned off my computer, so I ha took an eternity to eternity to load again. So yeah, I'm gonna do this for the next out like hour or hour and a half. We're gonna start Tuesdays with Hexen Beyond Heretic. I've seen a lot of people play uh, in on YouTube play as either the fighter or the cleric. In this one, we're gonna play as the mage. Obviously, I could. I'm just gonna do like sorcerers since that's basically normal mode. Actually, yeah, sorcerer. So yeah, right from the get-go, this is basically a dark fantasy version of Doom. Except unlike Doom, this has like destructible objects. So instead of just, I know like the thi I know instead of just killing everything in Hexen, you just gotta progress through the game. Since you'll see why after I finish this prologue level. Yeah, Datalon is a pretty slow guy. And to use items like this, to fletch it, you just gotta press... I just said, like, use item to Q. And to swap them, I set them to, like, Z and X. So the Quartz Flask heals 25% of your health. And the fletch it is different for every class. Like, the fighter is... Like a grenade type, the cleric uses it as a poison cloud. Ah, uh, no music. Sorry about that. I usually turn my volume really low. Let me know how the sound is in the after I raise it up a bit. Hopefully the mics are all right after. Actually, I can check OBS. How is it now? Let me show you what my version of Daedalon looks like. Of course, he's in dark blue, because... I think it's clear by now, for those who watch my channel frequently, I love the color blue, especially on the dark shade. So yeah, let's use this key to open this section. Okay, cool. Hopefully the mic is alright right now. Like, you can hear me clearly. But yeah, let's take out these Afrits and Ettens out. More Ettens to take care of. And yeah, of course, this game has a bunch of traps. So, you best be careful. That's everything taken out in this map. So we're introduced the, to the main antagonist of the game, Korax, who taunts us every time we go to 
each hub world. Yes, you've heard right. We go through hub worlds in the game. I'll clear out the Afrits here since... Since I have a rage weapon, it'll just be easy to take them out in a cage area. And just so you guys know, the port I'm using is GC Doom. I've actually been preferring that over Zendronum. First, let's get these fletched and take out these Afrits here. Alright, so what do you do next? Use, oh, flick this switch and we're off to our first area in the game. The Guardian of Ice. I'll save these for later. Ah, oh, jeez, I almost forgot. <laughs> I've been, I'm just rushing here. Let's get our first weapon, the Frost Shards. So the Frost Shards are basically like shotgun, the shotguns of Hexen. If you touch them, you could actually free even one free. Yeah, you could actually freeze the any enemies that are exposed to it. I'm just gonna use my wand throughout here. Be easier to take them off from a distance. these fletchets yeah the amulet of warding is increases our armor class yeah AC yeah they use a lot of terms like gameplay terms from like Dungeons and Dragons and it's like fighter I know fighter was a use was a class name used for warriors in Dungeons and Dragons Ah, there we go. Yeah, I just one shot. Yeah, if you touch, if you use the frost shard when you touch the Afrit, it's pretty much done for with one shot, with one touch actually. Okay, that was really close. Alright, let's flick this switch to solve one third of the puzzle for the seven portals.
All right, got the flame mask. Now let's get out of here. And go to the Guardian of Steel. <laughs> yeah, we just landed in the Guardian of Fire. Obviously, I'm using the wand frequently because I don't want to waste all my mana against unneeded enemies. Like the, I could just easily defeat the Afrits and, and the Centaurs and Etans in this distance. Yeah, if you position yourself with the centaurs right there, you'll see why. They're pretty much done for their position like that, and when you're using the wand too. Right, I'm gonna take this serpent out. Actually, let me flick this switch, and I'll do it on the other side. Take this centaur out from this side. Actually, I could take both of them out. But yeah, can you guys hear me clearly? You know, when you said it spelled it like that, I was thinking of like the original title for Epic Games, the guys behind Unreal Tournament, Gears of War, and more recently, Fortnite. tend to use like save points unless until I end the stream Oh, 
Okay, right now I'm thinking of like Jazz Jackrabbit, like the game. It's like one of those platformer games from like the 90s, and that was made by Epic Mega Games. Or Epic Games now. I'm so used to calling them Epic Mega Games. I should take out this serpent from this angle. All right, and that takes care of them. see if I could do this trick too because I actually just learned this recently too just flick the switch on the other side all right that serpent's taken care of Okay, yeah, that works too. S armor. One third of the puzzle has been solved on the seven portals. So yeah, we got Guardian of Steel done for now. So let's get back to the seven portals. Take care of these serpents. They're a doozy, honestly. Or that one's frozen solid. This is the only time I've seen the Windigos in this game. Is in the hub. Is in the seven portals. Actually, gonna open these traps. Obviously, they serve as perfect cover. supplies here and let's go to the second part of the guardian of ice that's one switch open now let's open the other
You gotta love the infighting in this engine, though. Pretty helpful, too. I see. I m you mentioned you actually showed me that game, Dungeons of Daggeroth. I gotta jump here, of course. Yes, I did mention about how the fighter and the priest are different for their fletched. For the mage, it's basically like traps for them if, to get away from the enemy. Obviously, as you can see, the ice is melting. Here's our fire key. Actually, I'm gonna get the steel key after I go through this portal. Go back, of course. That because I've died a lot of times in in that area. You'll understand why. Up here. At least I managed to go through this one. Now to take out the ambush here. So yeah, we got all the keys we need in this hub world now. As you can see, the stairs have risen. doors open to, uh, to the same 
different areas of ice and fire. No, wait, fire and steel, actually. Alright, I'm gonna open this other... Open this other area, too. Oh, Ken's Labyrinth? Isn't that like the... Isn't that like the game by the guy who programmed the build engine? The ones... The one that was used for Duke Nukem 3D? I know it was kind of like he was inspired to make his own game after watching his brother play Wolfenstein 3D, so he'd made Ken's Labyrinth. God, inspiration is magical, you know. There we go, flick the switch here and I'll do it on the other side. I can imagine. Are you talking about Ken's Labyrinth, though? I know one thing, though. He was so focused. Ken was so focused on the build engine, he had to take a leave of absence in college just to finish off the project. Because he failed the class because of it. ancient game oh, okay I just gotta go through the color quarter now This switch, which goes back, goes back to seven portals, and one of the doors have risen. One of the stairs have risen. Door opened on the Guardian of Ice. Actually, I'll just go to the Guardian of Ice for.
I'll check. You could just message it, message to me on Discord about it. I doubt I'm gonna check it on Steam. Oh no, on the Twitch chat. I mean. Might as well use the frost shard against these guys. Take them out easily. Hey. And yes, we just landed in the Guardian of Steel. Let's wait for this platform to go up. One half of the puzzle has been solved. Seven portals. Yeah, you guys can already see that the lava is rising up. No, actually, we ended up in the Guardian of Fire. The other... My bad. Yeah, we ended up in the Guardian of Fire. Off to the other side of the Guardian of Steel. I take this at head and out. Take the centaurs out first. more of these centaurs here i think the i thought the centaurs with like the that shoots projectiles are really annoying That's especially playing as the cleric and fighter okay i just flinched hearing that Actually, take care of these guys from here. Hey. 
Actually, I should take care of this side, too. Take the elevator down and take out this end in here. You have to find another switch. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? So yeah, let's go back to the seven portals again just to unlock more just to solve more puzzles all right back to the guardian of ice Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's pr pretty scary for me, too. Yeah, I did mention before, I don't like playing games blindly. Because obviously Splatoon 2 was a good example, but playing games I've already completed like this is much more enjoyable for me as a streamer, of course. Yeah, as you can, as you can tell by now, the Etten respawn very often. Actually, gonna jump up here and take out these Af Afrids. Go to this section over here. Oh, 
Watch out for the rising traps. Oh yeah, that's pretty frightening at worst. Thank God I managed to get that Mystic Urn. Alright, we made it. Let's get out of here. Or, yeah, we just opened the last part of the hub world. That takes care of everything in this in the guard in the Guardian of Steel. And we open this area. Which leads us to the secret level of this hub world. Bright Crucible. Let's take care of all these serpents here.
I gotta take care of this guy here. He's done for. You can actually hear the horse noises in these serpents. to the third person that entered the stream. Welcome. that takes care of these centaurs. Run for it! Here we go. Run, Forrest, run! Yeah, I'm, I had to make that reference. <laughs> Alright, looks like the stairs are rising here. use this invulnerability item later on called Icon of the Defender. I'm probably gonna save it for like one of the big boss fights in the game.
take out these stalkers. Sorry, I'm actually going through all these this part of the cave. Because you got you could actually unlock the other secret area in the next hub world with a line death, I think it's called. Oh, it looks like some people are entering. Oh, I forgot to do this, by the way. Hello to everyone in the stream. Welcome and enjoy the show. out these efforts actually I think they're called Aphris Aphris That serpent is frozen. Keep that in handy too, the rings of wings of wrath. So this is our first part of the fourth weapon in the game. Having passed the seven portals which sealed this realm, a vast domain of harsh wilderness stretches before you. Fire, ice, and seal have tested you, but greater challenges remain ahead. The dense tangle of forest surely hides hostile lies, but what lies beyond will be worse. Barren desert, dank swamps, and musty caverns bar your way, but you cannot let every anything keep you keep you from your fate, even if you might come to wish that it would. And beyond, flickering in the distance, the ever-shifting walls of the hypostyle hypostyle seem to mock your every effort. Well, obviously. Yeah, so far, three, three Fletches seem to take care of these guys. Let's get this platinum helmet. Some of this green mana too. It'll come in handy. And combine mana, green mana.
All right, again, let's watch our step. So we got our third weapon, the Ark of Death. Oh, that's pretty interesting. But yeah, we got our... Out of here. All right, is that is that all? Not all of them? I think so. But yeah, so we got our third weapon, the Ark of Death, which is basically like throwing lightning bolts at enemies. Open the portal to the to the cavern. No, not the caverns, but yeah, the wastelands. Let me just enter the wastelands real quick and go back out. Oh my god, I really love the Ark of Death right now. Wow, that thing just flung me in there. All right, have sweet dreams, Maroon. That switch to fix everything up. All right, good luck.
So yeah, I just unlocked the Cave of Cares. Now to unlock one more dungeon in the hub world. Yeah, I just finished off the firestorm that was happening. Alright, good luck on math dun G1 math dungeon rune. You go through the wasteland to autosave. Now let's open the swamps. Yeah, I really love the mage in this game. You can, see, you can actually stun these stalkers with the sapphire wand. Alright, let's pick up this dark servant. So yeah, now we just unlock the swamp area. See? <laughs> All right, that's it for, that's it for Excellent for tonight. So tomorrow I'll be continuing on Killzone. Killzone 1, of course. Sorry about that, I'm just saving the game. Oops. Hi, man. Data long. But yeah, so I'll do Killzone 2 on... Wednesday and I'll be playing Fortnite for the first time on Thursday and be playing Platoon 1 on Friday. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.